This is what we look at from our back door into our property. Uh, the back half of it is pretty heavily wooded and weeded up. Um, we're going to take you around the back side and show you what we found since we've been clearing. <laughs> Amy here. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour um, of what we're planning on doing and what we've done so far for the area that we're going to be putting the um, the shed barn in. Um, right now we're going to focus on clearing everything from here all the way down to the corner, this fence line. Um, the people that had the property before us, they put up bob wire everywhere. We want to put up regular fencing so that way our animals will feel safe. Um, so we got to cut this back and get the bob wire out of it. Over here is going to be the driveway to the cottage barn or barn shed, whatever you want to call it. Um, over there, the white stakes are where it's going to be placed at. And then that way we'll have room all the way to the corner to do projects or make, um, make something over here. Um, now, as we were cleaning, we found out that apparently there used to be a nursery around here that went out of business. And the people that lived here before us allowed the nursery to dump a bunch of their stuff. Um, as you can tell, we found these blue barrels and there is a whole big pile of that stuff over here along with black tarps, black soaker tubing, um, PVC piping, it, it's, it's a mess. It, it, unfortunately, now we're stuck with cleaning it up. But in a way, it kind of benefited us because we've been looking to get bamboo. And lo and behold, as we notice, because we don't come on this side of the property very often, we found a couple different types of bamboo. We're not sure what they are just yet. Here's one of them. Um, this one's kind of straggly, so I'm not sure if it's going to be invasive. I'm mainly looking for the clumpy bamboo because I want to make the, um, the wall, kind of like what our neighbor across the street here has. Gorgeous bamboo, I love it. But as we go further along here, um, we did notice some native plants. We're not entirely sure. Um, here's more of the bamboo here. <clears throat> and then uh, further along as we investigated, we can't really get into this part yet from either side because it's so dense. But we notice over here, there's some more bamboo in the back. Um, that looks really good. Um, some of it's actually really clumped together, so I'm hoping it's the clumping bamboo. And then... You can see the idiots that go mudding on the back part of our property. Yeah, hopefully by us putting up the fence and everything, it's going to stop that. Um, but we got a lot of the, a lot of the vines. And then we got this invasive grass over here. We found deer marks and we f figured out the, um, I guess we got some deer living in here or they use it as a, um, as bedding. But uh, we got this thing, it's called, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's in, it's evasive in Florida. It's called conca, conca grass or concus grass. And it's almost like sawgrass, but it spreads really quick. And apparently it's really hard to get rid of. Um, but then, goats will do it. Huh? Goats will take care of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, once we get the fence up, we can get goats. I'll let them loose in this place. Or a cow if we decide to go with a... I'd be afraid like of a, a Dexter cow. cow. But also, too, I've been wanting some elephant ears. Um, just because I like the way they look. And we found some... Uh, the sun's getting low. Where, did we, where was it? I think I it was it. farther up that way. No, I thought I saw There's a lot of that bamboo here. Yeah. All this is that bamboo. 
is on. All right, we found it, guys. Um, it's over. <laughs> I don't know if we can get in on a picture of it, but we got some elephant ears over there, and we even have some over here along between us and uh, our neighbor's fence line over here, honey, to the left. There's the elephant ear. There. And like I said, a lot of the stuff we couldn't get to. And we also found there's another nursery pile. We actually have three total. The one up here, there's one over here, and then there's one in to going towards the back. So it's, unfortunately, it's a mess. <laughs> but we're hopefully we'll be able to get this cleaned up. But as you can tell, the fence line is pretty much gone here. Parts of it remain like this one over here. This is actually a, a cattle panel that's been bent. No, that's not a cattle panel. That's Something. regular. That's regular fencing. Regular. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cut that out, honey. Yeah, I know. It's stuck in there good. It's been in there probably for a couple of years. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the entire backside of our property. So hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, get this area cleaned up because uh, we would like to put another shed over here uh, we do want to get we're leaning more towards the goats um, so I would like to have a either fix up the pole barn which I know is going to be kind of costly because the pole barn's got issues uh, the tin roof has got holes in it because they didn't put it on the right way well, they had been tore down and yeah, tore down someplace and, else, and then re put back up back yeah. there. But this is a cool looking tree. This tree, for some reason, started leaning, and it's spread out all over the place. You just got to be careful the electricity, the lines, and then um, over here seems to be maybe another spot that we could put another shed type barn that way we can use the tree as the canopy to give it shade uh, for our animals but uh over here is this where you notice the clumping yeah there's the clumping yeah, see, yeah, it's see, we got, clumping in there yeah um so i'm hoping that's clumping bamboo but this is the edge of the that nursery pile that we found so, I don't know, we got our work cut out for us. We just got to take it a, you know, a little bit at a time. So we're just going to try and do our best to fix up this area first and then work our way down. Uh, but there's a bunch of plants in here that we kind of noticed that are, you know, possible we're going to be keeping. I'm going to try and take some of this bamboo and maybe put it in pots so that way I can transplant it later. It's an option. We got plenty of it so I can try it. Worst case is I just let it go and, and it can create its own, own uh, fence line here. But yeah, I don't know if you want to take another look at that pile. Can't really see it from here. Mm. You know what? I can go in. If you want to okay. here I'll take you guys in so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here <clears throat> since Donald's got flip-flops oh, on thorns. oh yeah these these vines look at the size of those thorns those will get you that's why we won't let Braden out here we started clearing it as you can tell we got most of it done but it's still, we still got a lot, but I'm gonna go in and then here's the corner over here. We found out the light that's attached to that tree up there actually still works. There's a tire swing, that's the corner here. And then you can see our house. We'll be cutting down these pine trees. And I'm gonna go over here, guys, since Forgive me if the camera shakes, I'm trying to walk over stuff and do this, but here's this god-awful nursery pile. Ooh, 
Oh, almost tripped. I mean, and these things are the thick blue plastic. It is just a horrendous pile back in here. And then over here is where I found, forgive me the camera shake, I'm just walking over stuff. Found PVC piping. And then over here, right there is black tarp that they cover the ground with. Over here is the those uh, black hoses, like the soaker hoses or irrigation hoses. And then uh, there's also there's also some um, rubber siding, like for curbs. Yeah, you're right. This is this does look like all bamboo back here. But we got two, these two huge trees here that I guess they cut and. There's fence posts back here. There's trash. There's the black buckets. I mean, we're going to try and reuse some of this stuff. Um, we were taking, we got two of the blue buckets out um, collecting the um, bob, wire. bob wire. You know what? That's, what type of tree is that against our house? Same as that one, though. Birch, I think That's a river birch. We want to keep that because that they suck up water. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the river birches we want to keep around here. But yeah, as you can tell, this does look like all bamboo in here. I may have just hit the mother load. I won't have to buy bamboo now, honey. But yeah, as you can tell. Let's see if I can. I'm going to extend you guys a few seconds. So yeah, that's one of the three piles we're dealing with. And it's a shame really because for people like us, you know, that are starting out, we could actually use these, but they're so beat up. And they're just all over the place, covered in crap. So, yep. I don't uh, think any of that we're gonna be able to reuse. No, the only thing we could do is keep it, put trash in it as we go along and then fill stack up dumpsters. it. Yeah, fill up. Either that or we gotta rent a uh, a roll off. Yeah. Like a ten yarder. Which is gonna suck because that's you know extra money we gotta spend. But yeah, so just wanted to give you guys a quick update before the run the rains come. It's uh Friday evening. And uh just now you can barely see the water it's starting to dry up but rain's coming it's gonna get wet again got a couple piles going we're gonna use that once we dig the trenches because we're gonna cut down the rest of these pine trees and then we're gonna dig a ditch and then um, we're gonna bury these to create berms so we can grow some trees and shrubbery and stuff beautiful oak tree So, and then over here, we got all this here, and then we found two good ones, at least, and uh, like I said, we've been <clears throat> using them as trash, just to hold the trash, because we really can't use them for anything else. We did find some... Uh, fencing posts, but we, are we going to be able to reuse those fence posts? There's a couple of them that are usable. Yeah, so we may use them as um, probably 
What, siding or something, I guess? Oh, we can use, you know, like, uh, make raised beds even. Raised beds, yeah, that'll be a good idea. So, there's that pile from the roadside. We didn't really see it until we started clearing, so. It was all covered with brush. You couldn't even get yeah. back to it. So, all righty. Got to wearing her shirt that my sister made. Remember, grow something for your family. All right, you guys have a good night. See you later. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and grow something for your family.